It's the final review season and as you can probably tell it's uh, quite a mess here in Lund University. It doesn't help the fact that once it's five o'clock in the afternoon uh, the ventilation system turns off so all of our laser cutters can't be worked with over the night. Well I want to change that and Creality has sent us a laser cutter to actually test out for this and the laser cutter is called Falcon A1 that's the one that we're going to be setting up testing out today and hopefully by the end of today students will have two laser cutters to deal with and actually before we begin with the unboxing and the setup I just want to talk about this bad boy right here that was sent to us by Creality a year ago, uh, more than a year ago right now. And he has been hammered by 300 students or so, even more, every single day. And how well does this machine hold up? It's Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Over the course of a year, this has malfunctioned one time. The lens, the glass uh, of the laser, uh, burned through. A replacement of the glass was really fast, like five minutes to do it. There are tutorials for it and the machine comes with extra uh, lens caps so that, that was easy. Cleaning the laser is a little bit harder. You can see that now it's really messed up, it's really dirty. Again, final review season. Um, it takes like a few, a few hours uh, to properly clean. Uh, once you're done, you're, you're happy. Um, and it can work for another, in my experience, three, four months before it needs another deep clean. Other than that, it's a little bit dirty, but that's fine. So this for now is working. I will keep giving you updates on when this machine actually dies. All right, let's try, try this. What do we have in here? Nice! That's, that's pretty good. Take a look. Ah! It comes in as one big box, which I really, really appreciate. The padding is excellent for this. And it does actually come in as one piece, which is really nice. So probably not a lot of assembly required. There we go. In here we get even more padding. We get a uh, the power brick. We get all of the necessary cables, hoses and whatnot. The manual, for some reason, really big one. Probably multiple languages. More padding more padding more padding okay that's a uh, air pump as well as the hose for the back and even more padding damn they go all out with padding unfortunately not biodegradable Anyway, we get some, uh, some test material, we get some calibration dots uh, that we'll use later. And guess what? More padding. Now we can, do, we can do the peel. That's a nicer angle. The peel. Okay. 10 out of 10. Excellent. Uh, oh no, that's unfortunate, that's very much, oh that's so unfortunate, so you need to remove the handle to finish the peel, 0 out of 10.
currently I'm in the middle of this cal calibration situation and it seems to me that every issue that we had with calibrating the camera on the Falcon 2 Pro has been addressed here and has been fixed. Everything is running much, much more smoothly, which I really appreciate. Just a side note that I wanted to say while I'm kind of doing the whole shebang here. I cleaned up a little bit, but the thing that I want to show you, and this is going to be one of the last ones, is the settings. The settings for different materials, cutting of different materials. Before, for uh, Falcon 2 Pro, we had to do this. Basically a piece of a piece of paper with uh, speed as well as power written down for, you know, for the students. The problem is that a lot of students can't read. Now with the new app, uh, Falcon app or whatever it's called, that you get, um, you get proper material settings. Here we have basswood board, uh, board and then we can just choose between different settings from, from the list. Really great, really handy. The laser cutter is ready to go. The size of the build volume or surface area is 38 by 30 centimeters. And all I need to do is just prepare some material for it. We're gonna use cardboard. It should be able to cut even bigger than that, but eh, we'll see. Right, once that is done, then come here. We go in here, we go to our camera settings, and we take a photo. And after we took a photo, we can see the actual layout. And the layout is kind of wonky, it's kind of weird. It seems like the 000 is actually here, rather than where the grid is, which is, hmm, hmm. I wonder, I wonder, anyway. So now let's jump over to screen capture to actually set everything up and start cutting. That was easy. That was really easy to start and look at it go. It's a little bit slow. Two things. First thing, doesn't seem like you can change the speed during the cutting prog process. Once you have the speed down, it kind of will always cut at that speed unless there's some sort of a hidden setting that I don't know about. Doesn't seem like there is. Second thing is, notice how, whoop, here it's cutting from, it is cutting real close to the edge. And here, well, you can see on the screen. Uh, on the screen, it's centered, right? And if I go to camera and take a photo, it's way off, right? So the reason for this gap is because here I'm using, right, you're too close, sorry, sorry about that. Um, the reason for this gap is because I'm using the current uh, position for the start position rather than absolute coordinates, right? And that's no bueno. Uh, so in this case, in most cases, I will always do absolute coordinates so that it always starts from zero, zero, zero coordinate. That, that was my bad. So two, two mistakes on my end. Let's uh, reset everything and uh, try again, but this time with 3000 uh, instead of 1500 for speed. It's millimeters per minute, I think. Anyway, let's reset. Really hope I can capture this. Um, I'm using framing function right now. Can you see, oh my God, please tell me you can see that little laser dot right on the surface. Yeah, uh, I think you saw it. So it goes right along, wait, it goes right along the border, the edge of our snowflake to indicate where it's going to be cutting. 
Falcon 2 Pro doesn't have that, this one does. Chef's kiss. Wonderful to have that functionality right now. Anyway, so now it's time to cut a snowflake at two times the speed. And it's not that noisy as well. I mean, honestly, it's really not that bad. The only issue that I have with this is the fact that you do need a ventilation uh, shaft or you know some sort of arrangement to get the fumes outside. The long-term plan is that we have, well, this is cutting, long-term plan is that we have uh, this hood for uh, uh, fume exhaust and we're basically going to connect to that, uh, that pipe so the laser will have a proper exhaust. Right now, the ghetto solution is this bad boy right here. Okay, is it, is it done yet? Is it done yet? It's almost done. Nope, 3000 was, oh, actually, almost there. So with a little bit of, of uh, convincing, a little bit of push, at 3000 millimeters per second, you can very easily cut out from uh, corrugated cardboard. So for architectural model making, that's great. I would honestly do 2700 and call it a day. Awesome. Now it's uh, this is a ready tool for the students uh, to use. I will show the students' works in just a second. Snowflake. Uh, I'll show you the students' works in just a second. But basically, the things that I like about this uh, laser cutter, the whole setup process, very seamless. Didn't have any problems. Had a few issues with uh, USB connection here. Um, needed to restart the laser for it to work. Safety here, this as well as the key, those two safety features really help with, oh, you don't need to see me. <laughs> those two safety features really help with uh, getting the this machine to be actually used in the school. Magnet, magnet. If uh, these two areas, wait, no, magnets go here, sorry, here and here, uh, right there. If this is open, the machine will not work. Same thing for the top. Magnet, 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 magnet. If this is opened, it uh, understands and the machine will not work. So that safety feature is great. Uh, then for the surface, seems to be okay. Uh, we will be using this mostly for cardboard cutting. Uh, so that's, that's great. And generally, like this is a fully enclosed, really good, like a starter laser. Like if this is your first laser, it should be something similar to this, much less headache than, uh, you know, the professional grade lasers that we have there. Just like with this one, with that one as well, we will do um, yearly or bi-yearly, we'll see, updates on how are they holding up right and how much punishment can they uh, withstand so right now that's the end of my spiel that's the end of blah 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 let's go and check out well there, there's going to be a little bit of a time skip this one needs to be used and then we will check out what the students actually have cut out <laughs>
Thank you. 